Do you want to know how to safeguard your Facebook account? In the next few minutes, we're going to discuss how to protect your Facebook account from contractors and hackers. My name is Elise Nelson, and I help tech challenge makers build a profitable e-commerce brand. Thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel, where I offer lessons that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. In this short video, I'm going to share your Facebook profile recovery options. But before we jump into this maker lesson, I'd love to know if you're working with independent contractors and how you give them access to your login details. Leave a comment and let me know. All right, so let's start this by discussing the ways that you can secure your Facebook account. There are four ways that you can secure your Facebook account. The number one is to use text messaging on your phone. Basically, the way this works is you receive a message on your phone and you get a code that you can use to verify your account. So you go to log in, you get this little code, you put it in and it lets you log in. So this is assuming that you're using two-factor authentication. Uh, the pros of using this type of method is that it's easy to access on your phone and you can easily enter the code. The cons are if someone, say a hacker or an independent contractor, changes your phone number, you will no longer be the one who receives the message, okay? So that is number one, text messaging on your phone. The second way to set up two-factor authentication is to use an authentication app on your phone. So this works because an app will generate a secure code that you can again use to verify your account when logging in. Pros of this method are that it, are that it is easy to access on your phone and enter the code. Cons are if someone, say a hacker or independent contractor, gains access to your account, they can change the authenticator app that is linked to your account. And that means that you will not be the one that gets the codes. Your third option is to set up recovery codes. And these are codes that Facebook gives you that can be used to access your account when you don't have access to your phone. So a pro of this is that you don't need your phone to use the codes. A con is if someone, say the hacker or independent contractor, gets into your account, they can easily get new codes, which will void your original codes. So these are a way to get access back into your account should you lose your um, access to your phone or say you get a new phone and you no longer have access to the phone, you can still do it with these recovery codes. And then our fourth and final way of um, setting this up for your Facebook account is with a security key. Now a security key is actually a little physical device that you plug into your computer and um, it works through your flash drive of your computer to confirm that you're an account holder. Now a pro of this is it can be kept in a secure location only to be used in case of necessity. A con is that multiple security keys can be added to an account. So if someone accesses your account, they can always add another security key to override. Another note about these four types of um, protection for your Facebook account. All of these options override each other. So you don't have to have all four of these. You can have one and then someone can create a second one and that second one can be used to still keep your account. So if you have a security key, a hacker can simply set up text messaging and get the authentication that way. If they have access to your account, they can also just turn off two-factor authentication, which means you wouldn't need any of these four ways to actually get into your account, thereby preventing you from accessing your own account. Now, before we jump into the rest of the lesson, please like this video and comment with the word recovery. Also, be sure to stick with me to the end of the video to learn your challenge for today and implement what you have learned. Now it's time for me to show you how to get the recovery code. So keep in mind that if your account is hacked or stolen and the thief knows how to get new recovery codes, these codes may not protect you from having your account stolen. But these codes are still handy in case you ever get locked out of your account on your own. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your Facebook account and you're going to click the picture of yourself in the upper right corner. Then you're going to click on settings and privacy and then you will click on settings. Once you get here, you're going to click on security and login and you need to have two factor authentication on in order to do this. So right here you can see two factor authentication and I have it on. So if you do not have it on, you cannot do this. You'll need to change that to be on. Then we're going to click on edit. It will most likely make you re-enter your password. So once you enter your password, you'll hit continue. So once you've entered your password, it'll take you into your two-factor authentication area. And you can again, turn it on or off here. You can see I currently have an authentication app set up. You can manage that and um, add a new app. You can turn it off. 
So this is how if someone gets access to your account, they will have access to all of these things and they will be able to change what you can use. So ideally, you want to have all these methods available to yourself so that you can still get access to your account should you lose your password or something like that. But if someone does actually steal your account and they know how to get here, which presumably they would, they can just come in here and change all these things. So you have to keep this in mind. And we're going to, do, we're going to talk about what you can do to prevent this in just a moment. But for now, I wanted to show you how to get your recovery codes. So you're simply going to come here, click on Setup, and then Get Codes. And then you will get 10 codes that you can download or copy um, and use those to gain access to your account. Now, the reason that I tell you that this is good, but is not going to prevent someone that has gotten access to your account is all they have to do is click on this get new codes to generate new codes and then your codes no longer work. So that is how you get your recovery codes. If you want more help with your e-commerce brand, be sure to subscribe and sign up for notifications so that you don't miss any of my videos that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. Now that you know how to set up the two-factor authentication options provided by Facebook and the limitations of them helping you recover your stolen account, what should you do to protect your account? The number one thing that you should do to make sure your account stays protected is that you should never give your Facebook login to anyone. So first, you're going to set up all of these methods so that you can get access to your own account and you're protecting your account by using two-factor authentication because someone cannot just steal your password. Then you want to make sure you never give your Facebook login to anyone. Instead, you can give them access to social media scheduler so that they can access your account messaging and social media. My favorite is the Metricool social media scheduler, and there'll be a link to sign up for Metricool in the description of this video. And there is a free option to use Metricool as well. So you give them access to your social media scheduler. The worst thing that they can do is post social media you don't want or delete things or something like that, right? And then you can always change that password later. With Facebook, once they gain access, it is really hard to get access back. So that's the first way to make sure that you're not giving out your Facebook login to anyone is to use a social media scheduler instead. So people that need access to your account can do it through the social media scheduler. The second way to never give your Facebook login to anyone is to give your independent contractor access to the pages or groups through their own personal Facebook account by adding them as admins or moderators. In this case, you don't have to give them your password because they're using their own login. And that can be a login that they can, can create that's just for working on your account or the one that they use for their personal Facebook. But it's a separate account. It is not your account. And then your third way to never give your Facebook login to anyone is to give them access to your account through Business Manager. So the way you get to that, there'll be a link in the description of the video, is you go to business.facebook.com slash settings slash people, and you can actually add people that can access your account without actually giving them your account, okay? And so this is assuming you have a business account for your business, and that should be what you're doing because that is the only thing that works with Facebook's terms of service, but this is the probably best way to do this. One of these three ways will definitely work for you and should prevent you from giving your Facebook login to anyone. So just a reminder, you should absolutely never ever give anyone your Facebook login information because once you lose that, you've lost it. And Facebook can be a very valuable asset to your business. So I want to tell you a story about something that happened to a friend of mine before we close this out. Basically what happened was she hired someone to work for her, an independent contractor to set something up for her. Um, I believe she was having them work on ads, although I'm not 100% positive about that. The contractor, after they were done with what they were supposed to be doing, what she had hired them for, decided that she hadn't paid them enough and demanded that she give them twice what they had agreed upon initially. And so my friend basically said, I'm not going to do that. The contractor basically locked her out of her account and said, well, I'm not giving you back your Facebook account. Of course, that was the account that was set up for her business and her personal account and everything. And the contractor basically held it hostage. And I have heard many stories like this from many different small business owners. So you never know what's going to happen. And no matter how well you know someone, you just don't know if someone gets angry, if someone gets mad at you, you don't know what they're going to do. So the contractor basically stole her account and she had to go and make a new account and start everything over again. She tried to contact Facebook, couldn't, they wouldn't give her access back. So she was just out of luck and had to start over from scratch. So don't let that happen to you. Never get out your, give out your Facebook password to anybody and go ahead and implement the two-factor authentication to help prevent hackers and then make sure when you're giving out information that you don't give out your personal information. Instead, you use either Metricool, 
you give them a moderator or admin access under their own Facebook account, or you invite them through Facebook Business Manager. Today's question was, are you working with independent contractors and how do you give them access to your login details? Leave a comment and let me know. Your challenge for today is to go download your 10 recovery codes and put them in a safe place in case you ever need them. Now, one Wednesday each month, I randomly pick one of the comments from the new videos that are released every week. And if you are subscribed to the My Schedule Biz channel, you will win a free ticket to my next social media challenge. Best of luck to you all. Don't forget to live your dream every single day.